Okay, so now we're at this new oscilloscope, the 2213A, and I have a 1 kilohertz AC signal going to channel 1, and a 2.5 kilohertz AC signal going to channel 2. So we'll go ahead and turn on the oscilloscope. Alright, and right now it's set to both, so you can see both channel 1 and channel 2. If we switch it to channel 1, then we only get channel 1. Alright, so this side right here is all for channel 1, and this side is for channel 2. So if we want to move it up and down, we'll move this position marker. And we can also use that position marker to move it side to side. And now if we want the signal to appear larger, we'll make the amount of voltage that each box represents, we'll make that smaller. And so right now each box represents one volt. And these knobs right here, they determine the intensity. Then you can also focus it. Alright, now going back to both of them, we can simultaneously move one up and the other down or up to get them both on the screen. Now let's say we want to make this smaller and then make this channel two larger. We'll go ahead and change the voltage per division for that. All right, and you want to make sure that these are all calibrated all the way to the right. All right, now let's look at channel two. If we want to get less cycles of the signal, we'll go ahead and change the second division. All right, now looking at both of them, we want it in alternating mode. We don't want it in the add mode or the chop. And then this, this over here is important. This is the trigger. You want it set to auto. If you have it set to anything else, it's not gonna work. So you want it set to auto. And then you want these set to vert mode int mode and AC. And then also since we're reading AC signals we want these set to AC.